them 10 months in Canada okay. without legal, yeah. without any paper, okay. to uh, get my um, uh, you, um, refugee you, status. Okay. My refugee status. Yes. I am under harassment with the immigration and police department. Okay. They poison my food. Okay. That poison in my food causes allergic in my eyes, uh -huh. irritate my eyes. Okay. <laughs> Provoke me a, a constipation mm -hmm. and it's a harassment that bothers me with everywhere. I live in a shelter for 10 months mm -hmm. without any paper, without any money. Where do you live? In college and Macau. Okay. Hope shelter. Okay. They violate them, right? my human rights over there mm -hmm. because I don't cook my own food mm -hmm. and they poison my food to keep me awake is the objective where you, where you where did you come from I am from Cuba you're from I Cuba the border from United States <coughs> they violate my human rights in United States because they thinking I was spying for Cuban government and I crossed the border because the United States gave me the visa in 2005, mm -hmm. like political refugee. Mm -hmm. And when I, when I entered in the United States, they opened immigration, opened an investigation, believe I am working for Cuban government. Mm -hmm. I am not a communist, I am a Cuban dissident, and it's a long story of human rights violation, and I cross the border and continue the human rights violation mm -hmm. in Canada. Ten months without any paper, under harassment, that harassment is the poison, it's no legal paper, I don't have any hiding to, uh, to get my papers, my status, this is my situation mm -hmm. in Canada. Canada, Canada violates mm -hmm. my human rights and I want that everybody knows my situation. So how long, like, do you want to, did you want to come here to live in Canada? Yes, I want to live in Canada. And you just want to work here, you, what, what kind of work do you want to work? Uh, general working. But as I am, I was a bachelor in science and letters, I studied nurse in Cuba. I am a good high level education. But you do anything in Canada to be here? No, no, no. In ten months, I No, but when you, if you were a Canadian citizen or a person who could just work in Canada like everybody else should have the right to. Because borders to me are just lines that, that taxpayers created. No, 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 I work in uh, You would do anything and anything, just to live just to anything. live here a good, easy, simple life, right? Yes. And you're just standing up for your rights today. For, for, for my human rights, it's only. Oh, Canada is a huge country, and I wish any. My parents come from another country, and I wish anybody from anywhere in the world should come here. And as long as they come here and live by the letter of the law, whatever you know. No, it's my situation. But why they want to put me out of this place? Because they are scared that everybody, the politician, that the principal of this government knows my situation. They want to close my mouth because they make a wrong mistake in the United States and they're working together Immigration Canada and United States. And they make a wrong mistake and they want to close my mouth. I can't open a website, I can't make a denounce, I can't send a letter. This is the situation. But what's your name, sir? Delphine Sanchez. Delphine Sanchez. What, spell what? it for me, spell it for me. Delphine, Dolphin, like a fish. Sanchez. Dolphin Sanchez? Sanchez. Okay, I'm going to put this up on my website. Yeah, I have a website and I'm going to put it up here. But, but I'm, you see, here. What is the this is my website. I'm going to put it up on my website. I do live streaming they and everything. They want to put me out of this place because they, I, they want to close my mouth. They want to close my mouth. This is the audience because I, am, I don't have any weapon. You need a permit, they said, for here. Lying. 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 I don't listen to it because it's a public property. It's a park. We pay for this. So, you know, I pay for this. Our taxes pay for I this. I have a tendency to agree with them. A lot of the shelters, I don't care what they say, a lot of the homeless shelters are spiking our food. Oh, yeah? I'm straight up, man. I'm. Why is the situation? They are in the, in the chapter. Life. Many and people. when I go into a hostel, when I go into a hostel, and I can't even get the Duke to stand up because I've just eaten, there's something wrong with that man. I think somebody should take a look at the way these people are feeding us and the way they're caring for the people on the It's an easy way to control people when you can you feed them. Violation. Exactly. But where? Here? Here in Canada. Oh yeah, man. And what is the situation? In the hostel, many people are drug addicts, 
alcoholic, mm -hmm. and they don't feel that they that the, 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 the police put some poison in the food to depress that person. And I am they contaminate the pipe, the water, the fountain. And this is the only thing to destroy the person. It's a torture. It's a psychological torture. They use this torture on pressure against the the drug smuggler, the terrorists, the criminals. Anybody they want to. Eh? Anybody who they want to. Yes. They could do it to us too by putting it in our food that they sell us. Yeah. McDonald's. Yes. <laughs> I, know. No, I don't say in, in in that kind of place. But when they are behind some somebody and they want to destroy that person. That person, they use the poison in the food. All right, sir. And Thank some, you. Sometimes you feel headache, under depression, on the um, or, uh, on the weakness, weak when you eat after you eat the food. This is the shelters you're staying in. Yes, it's a conspiracy because I don't cook my own food. They give me the food in my hand. And they don't care about the other people because they have many chemicals in his body. That chemical produced in your body irritates your eyes, dry your, your color, and you can go properly to the bathroom. Well, let me say you behind that thing because that's our, that's our symbol over there of Toronto right there. And our symbol of Toronto, we are actually poisoning our poor. And violate my human rights. Ten, ten months without any immigration rights. And they know if I come back to Cuba, I have punishment to come back. <laughs>